This function, which is available through this new menu item, allows to shape the outbound traffic depending on your need. You can choose to give some computers in your LAN or some type of traffic a higher priority and a minimum guaranteed bandwidth, slowing down low priority traffic, for example web surfing, when the need for bandwidth from critical services is higher. You can also raise the speed of low priority traffic when other services are not using all their bandwidth. Now let's see how to do this. First of all, we have to have clear in mind that traffic shaping can be done only on outgoing traffic because the protector can manage Ethernet packets that it is going to send out but if there are packets on the network card ready to come in they must be processed as soon as possible without any delay. Then traffic shaping is specific to a network card. If your protector is installed in bridge mode as in this example, you can shape traffic on both network cards. To define a traffic shaping on a network card, you should first enter the maximum bandwidth available on that card in this field, then you can start defining traffic classes. To each traffic class it is possible to associate a type of traffic and a minimum bandwidth. You can also choose to let the class borrow some bandwidth from other classes when they are not using theirs. Now let's proceed step by step, let's create a new class. This class is going to be created on the card which connects our protector to the internet. Now for example if we want to limit web uploads we can create a filter on IP address. Here we can enter the whole subnet under the protector. We can enter a class name. And then we can specify a direction. Here we are limiting the traffic from this subnet in the local LAN to the internet. We give a, a priority to this new class, click OK and the class will be created. Now we can see that we have two classes. This is because when you create the first class, the protector automatically creates a default class which is designed to collect all unshaped traffic. A default class must always exist and because it is a catch-all class, no filters can be created on it. Now we can decide how much bandwidth we want to give to each class. To do this we can use this slider here. The blue line represents the whole bandwidth and to change the minimum rate assigned to each class we can simply move the slider to the right or left. Then we can decide to raise the top rate for each class. So we have a minimum guaranteed and this minimum can grow up to the whole bandwidth if we want. Now let's see the live case of how to limit downloads. Let's focus on the second network card, the card that connects our protector to the local area network. Here I have already created a class. On this class the filter is based on the destination IP. I have added all the computers in my local area network. Then I, I have given this class a very very limited bandwidth with no borrowing from other classes. Now if I activate the traffic shaper we can see here on the right side on the graph that the speed of my download will drop down immediately. Then, for example, if we raise a little bit the top rate, we will borrow some bandwidth from the other class 
and we can see an immediate little benefit on the speed of our download. Then we can, for example, raise the minimum bandwidth guaranteed to 3 megabits, for example. And we shall see another jump in the speed of download. 